Hello everybody, welcome to RVT. This is RVT by She's Video Tube. And I'm coming on live on social media at Google Plus, YouTube, and other social media platforms. How y'all guys doing? And Instagram. Glad you guys are here. You guys can be anywhere, but you're here. And I'm happy that um, you guys are here. I'm eating grilled cheese and um, soda, so that's I'm always eating something on the air. I like it. I like eating on the air. I like it. Um, got some shows coming up. Animation coming up. Um, damn, y'all. Talking about my, my, my troop. I'm stuck in this man cave, and um, I was out this morning, though. I got me another case of beer. I don't know why, I just did. Well, it was the idea. It wasn't really my idea. They like when I drink, you know. Um... I'm glad you guys are listening in, man. Something is going on here. Something is going on here. I'm talking to my troop guys. One minute. See what I'm saying? You see that? After some, uh, well, guys, y'all can guess what it is. Why she is different than you guys. So I sense things. Something is happening here. I just don't know what it is yet. I didn't say anything. Welcome to my house, y'all. Welcome to my house, man. Thanks for... Letting me come into your guys' house. If I could just have one hour to say what I really want to say. It would be so beautiful. I know I can't do it. I'm just saying, sweetie. Show business is a bite tongue thing. That's what I'm learning. It's a bite tongue thing. And, um. Again, our hearts and prayers go out to. Our, well, in this case, our hearts and thoughts go out to the people of um, Mexico. For what's going on there? Everybody knows what's going on. I mean, ain't nobody stupid, but our hearts and prayers go out to them. A lot of people don't believe in God. And I believe in, we believe in God. Because we have a goddess. We don't have a God around here. In other words, you guys got to really realize what times we're living in. You know? And, um, it's like when the weatherman on television says it's going to rain. If when it rains, do you get upset? All right, so it's kind of like that. How would you like it if you was on the air talking to a bunch of people that's upset about shit going on? And you can't do nothing to make them feel better. How would you feel? 
Well. I'm trying I'm gonna try my best though. To make you guys um take your mind off shit. I am. Um, I really am. Y'all wanna hear some music? Does that make y'all feel bad? Let me see if I turn on some music, man. Let me see if I turn on some music, y'all can feel better, man. Let me see. I ain't on the internet. I'm not online. Well, let's, let's, I don't wanna go online. Let's go on our archives. Fuck the online bullshit. I got time for that. I wanna look at uh, look at some T V then. I wanna look at some T F television. You know I'm really glad you guys like me, so I don't. I know. Fucking. People out there that don't like me. And y'all gotta be around them. Just remember one thing. I'm here for people that like my she only. Okay? Just remember that. Just want something to watch, you know? And I care about you guys. And I want you to realize that, you know? I want you to realize that. I ain't gonna try to, um, come up with some, come up with some crazy stunts. For entertainment around here. When y'all come here, just know that we relax around here. We chill out. We don't. We ain't got time for all that talking bullshit. Sometimes, sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Today I'm just not feeling it. 
But I want I want some Rashid flavor on social media, so I just had to do this right here. If y'all feel uncomfortable because I don't have much to say or whatever, either y'all got two choices. Either you can stick around because maybe later on in the hour I'll pick up, or y'all could just just go, just go, because my show ain't gonna be for a while, dude. It's gonna be a while. Y'all entertain you guys. Actually, I got a story coming up, right? The story time. I got a story coming up. Well, y'all should like this. Y'all should really like this, man. I've been loafing all day long, man. I swear to God, I got up in the morning. I went out. I went to the bank. After, I came, after we came from the bank. And we went out again to get some beer. As we came for some beer, I wanted to get her medicine, but she acted stupid. And basically, I've just been loafing. I've been just hanging on the internet. And, you know, internet junkie type shit. And I am an internet junkie. I am. I love social media, man. I do. I love social media because We have an outlet. We have another life besides the ones. Like, I got a lot of lives because I'm a cult leader, but I like this life right here also. Because it's really fucking cool, you know? You can talk and talk and talk. And you guys get to see my point of view, you know what I mean? Without no interruptions. On social media, I'm when you upload, when you're a, a blogger, you get to express yourself without no interruptions, dude. Not in the real world, in classroom or work, you start talking, talking. You always get some dumb fuck to think you know every fucking thing, dude. And fuck all your conversation up sometimes. But on in it, on uh, social media, and you ain't got that problem. You know, we got. I mean, whoever has the account, people that like that person are going to come to your channel and listen to you, and you have they they like you, so you could just chill or just man, it's some fucking awesome shit, awesome shit, really incredible. But the thing that gets me about it is. You get these people to think they're, they they have to look at your videos or, you know, when you don't, when you mind your business on your channel and uploading on your channel, they get the uh, impression like, they get to get like, well, why you got to do this? Why you do, 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 you ain't got to be here. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get these people like, you know, there's half the bullshit. Ain't no half to nothing. If you don't like my shit, leave. It's that simple. You know, people that stay, you comfortable as hell because, you know, they stay they're your people. They, they listen to you. There are positive reasons to like social media, man. Positive fucking reasons. amazing man I could have used this when I was in junior I could have used this man I know I keep saying it sweetie I keep saying it over and over I could have used this earlier in my life these kids don't know how good they got it with this shit mm -mm -mm. there's always something to do you never just sitting back like there's nothing to do never like that with social media never 
But the trick is, here's the trick. You gotta know what you're doing on social media. You gotta know how to work it. You know? You can go to chat rooms, you can comment. You can upload your own shit, you can watch movies. You can, you can do so much on it. You're never bored. No, it's just amazing. I think I'm good now. Y'all want to lose weight? Eat grilled cheese sandwiches. Swear to God. But y'all feel what I'm saying about social media? For people that don't like it are not computer inclined, maybe. Well, they probably think it's stupid. Those Americans can stand it. I'm not sitting on Americans can stand this fucking social media shit, man. I'm going to tell you our secret, too. White man. White man can't stand that spin. What's that called? Um, fidget spinner. White man don't like that fucking shit, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> White man don't like no fucking fidget spinner, dude. Not all of them. Not all of them, but. All you gotta do is have one around them and see their face expression. They can't stand it because ain't no race with it. It's an international hobby. It's like something you whip out and anybody can do it. Most Americans don't like shit like that. Most Americans don't like shit like, you know. He can't stand that. The white people can't stand that fucking fidget spinner bullshit, dude. That's why you don't see it that much. It's an awesome thing to, to play around with, but you don't see it that much. It's not, you know, like all over because anything a white man like, anything America is like, you'll see it all over the place. You know what I mean? I mean, you'll really fucking see it, dude. But if white man say he don't like it, dude, you ain't going to see it, dude. That's why that fidget spinner look like that. I was at the bus stop. Yeah, my kids is at the bus stop. And um I was waiting for the trolley. And I got in a conversation with some old guy. This American guy, white guy. He was really like senior. He was really older than me. And we got in a good conversation. We was just talking and talking and talking. We was talking for a good like forty five minutes. And we was wondering Where's the trolley? Because we still sitting there waiting and shit. We waiting and waiting. And then I decided to go up. Uh, I got up and walked over to this to this um this area right next to us. It wasn't that far. I see it was about six feet away. About six feet away. So I walked there. My kids over there and everything. They stand over there while I was talking. So I walked there and I whipped out a camera, my camera, and I started filming this beautiful, it was like a beautiful garden. 
right by the bus stop. It was real beautiful. And when he turned around and saw me with a camera in my hand filming, that white man lost his fucking mind, dude. He lost his fucking mind. Now let me tell you, let me describe this. Let me let me go in detail. He turned around and saw me filming the garden. Then he just jumped up. I swear to God, he jumped up from the bus stop and started curse swearing his ass, motherfucker. But he was he was blaming it on the the um he was blaming it on the the, the shit because we kept we were still waiting for the goddamn fucking shit to show up. So we he was blaming his his anger on the on on the fucking fact that we still waiting for the the trolley. So he was like, motherfucker, Charlie, take it forever. God damn it, motherfucker. But it was no reason for him to. So I was wondering, why is he all of a sudden tripping like this? It don't make sense. We, I mean, we already know the trolley was late or whatever. The bus was late. So there was no reason to trip out like that. Then I, then I noticed I had my camera in my hand. And he got so offended. I mean, like, he got really offended that. It's almost like, oh, I was talking to one of those social media people all this time, and I didn't know it. Right, sweetheart, right. That's what we came, that's the conclusion we came to. So he was like, I was, he was, he had the attitude, he had the attitude like, I was talking to one of them. I can't believe I was talking to one of them. He was like that, dude. He was like that. He was furious, dude. He was fucking furious. So he had an attitude like, I can't believe I was talking to one of them. He was like, shit, motherfucker, son of a bitch. And he walked over there to the curb where the, bus, where the cars drive down in the street. And he started standing there, cur still cursing. And I'm, I'm sitting there looking at him like, and I'm like, maybe I should just go ahead and walk. So I just started to walk. I just thought I ain't standing around. But it taught me and my kids a lesson. Of how many people hate social media. I mean. And this just happened. And it shocked me. Okay. To turn around and see this white man. Just flip out like that. And, it, and I noticed. Oh wait. I got my camera in my hand. So I said. Oh gosh. I got my camera in my hand. And shit. He must have like. Um, you know. What's in. You know. The, the social media. And he just. He was like, he was, he was almost, he was acting like he was betrayed. Because we was talking for like an hour and a half, laughing and everything. Then when he saw that, he was, fucking son of a bitch! Damn! Damn it! Damn, motherfucker! Son of And I'm just looking at him like, damn, this man really flipping out here. So I got out, I just started walking. And then we came to the conclusion, well, he saw me taking pictures. He saw me because he knew about the... He know what's in now. Obviously, everybody knows we see somebody on a camera, a phone, and shit like that. So, but it but it just woke me up, and I told my people. I said I have to go online when I have my show. I have to tell my people about this because we love social media. Okay, we love social media, but I want y'all to realize something. And don't forget this. I want y'all to realize something. We're unlike, dude. Alright? Now, we, we, you don't see it, dude. You don't see it. Maybe in your household you see it because you hear somebody say, you always on a fucking computer all the time. That's how you think about their fucking phone. Alright, these people, these people, guys, are really fucking dead serious. They like beasts. They they like just really animalistic with hatred towards social media. They can't stand a motherfucker, man. Okay, so when you go out, because it taught me, I can warn you guys, when y'all go out and mingle and shit, and you notice somebody don't have a cell phone, just be careful. Just be careful, man, if you decide to just pull your cell phone out all of a sudden. Especially if you don't see the other person with a cell phone. Just be careful, guys. Alright? I just thought I wanted to bring that on the air and tell y'all because that taught me. 
you know, that really taught me. But a lot of people um, going through things with social media is ending marriages. It's causing division in households. And people can carry that out in the street and they can snap on you. You know, it's possible, guys. It's possible. So, if you're around somebody that don't, we know that they ain't got a cell phone or whatever, just be careful whipping something out because you don't know the reaction. You know, you don't know the reaction. Now, that reaction he gave me was shocking. Very shy. I didn't expect that. But I was, but at the same time of my curiosity, I noticed that I whipped out my camera. And he saw me taking pictures, filming, and talking at the same time. And he knew it was kind of like that. He knew it was that social media bullshit. And that's when he changed. And a lot of you guys probably went through something similar. Likewise, you just guys, just be careful when you're out mingling and you're with somebody around people that don't have social. If you just go, and you might get a reaction, guys. So just be careful. That's all I wanted to say. Just be careful. Cause a lot of people don't like social media, man. They don't. They really fucking don't like it. They really don't like it. These people hate the computer thing. They hate the the the, the fact that we can upload and watch our videos and people looking at us online. They don't like that shit. They very offended. You know, a lot of people are very very offended. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna tell you in an ignorant way. And I'm gonna tell them in an ignorant way. I ain't gonna tell you in a different different way. I'm gonna, t baby, I'm gonna tell these guys in an ignorant way, because they want people to look at that stupid gorilla fucking shit that's on that goddamn TV set. That's the fuck why. That's number one, and number two, they can have a deep seated, okay, envious. I wanna be like that, and I can't. Is that's another one? So it's a lot of reasons why, and they all childish. It's all childish. Nothing about it is mature. Nothing. Nothing. We're really hated, and especially in mainstream that sound like TV shit, they hate our ass. Don't think they like us, man, because they don't. They don't. They think we're trying to be like them. It's all about money. I told y'all that on my last show. It's all about, you know, so just be careful, guys. Be careful. Because that took me by surprise. But at the same time, yeah, it taught us. It taught us a valuable lesson of like, yeah, exactly. Who to, you know, watch your surroundings, guys. Watch your surroundings. You may get dirty looks while you're on the phone, using the telephone, or talking on the phone. Anything, you know, you get this stupid shit around you while you're on the telephone. These people can't stand social media. They hate it. They hate it. They want you to look at that stupid Space Jam bullshit. And they don't, they don't say a word about shit like that. Nothing. But when it's something like on a computer a lot, you're getting smarter. You're, 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 you're spelling. You're using words. Your curricula. Everything is, you're getting very intelligent. They don't, they don't like it. It's always, all right, oh, we got to learn more education. America is the, well, I'm talking about America in particular. It's the most dumbest country and all this shit. But then when you do stuff, they hate it. They hate it. This is stupid fucking shit. Dude. So just be careful, guys. Just be careful. Because you get a lot of you got a lot of people that can't stand no fucking social media, dude. They hate it. And I don't want y'all to get and start and whip your shit out in the wrong environment, and then some shit pop off. I hate that to happen. And, and that's why I just took my heart and we just walked. We just walked. God wasn't going to do nothing, nothing. But still, I didn't feel comfortable around his hands after that. I still saw his hands on the bus because the bus came. I got on it. He was right in on it. Pissed the fuck off. I don't give a shit. I love my social media. And this this is giving us a voice. It's giving us a voice. It's giving us a choice. It's giving us a voice. It's giving us a choice to, of um, a choice of entertainment. Do we want to watch local people just like ourselves, or do we want to watch professional people um, entertain us? We have a choice now, and the professional people don't like that shit, and some normal people don't like it either. 
But yet, that's what social media is. It's a giant calculator that can give us exactly what we want. And we can do all kind of things on it and really enjoy ourselves. And people are, don't, you know, and, and it satisfy the hell out of us. But people really are offended by it. And these people, we got to really know. We have to know our surroundings and don't be ignorant to ignorant about how people view our our passion which is broadcasting and, and so in social media and and vlogging this is our passion so we have to be not un we can't be ignorant we have to be educated we got to know how others view it you know it's a small percentage of us and it's a huge percentage of them you see what i mean there's a very small percentage of us and a huge percentage of them. And they are able to harp on us and and make us feel less motivated. So we get our, our nice YouTubers that we like to watch either slowing down, uploading, slowing down, or they're uploading and when they upload it's just garbage we're looking at. Or they do something stupid on their vlogs. That, that's really unnecessary. These people of course are being manipulated by somebody in their surroundings who's bringing them down, who's bringing the idea of social media period down to a level where think, where, where you start thinking okay this is stupid. Computer social media is stupid. It's just a dumb avenue and such and such such and such. So okay let me put something up for these people to like me and it's gonna be garbage or something like that it's gonna be garbage or they just slow down and less motivated because they're around people that can't stand social media you know the, and that's and that's the, the the issue just just understand if this is the because this definitely is my passion this is my passion. Being a broadcaster is it for us around here. And my kids know it besides being a cult leader and a, and a, um, so forth. This is my passion. Being a broadcaster and being able to entertain and talk like I'm doing now. I really, really like this. I really like it. I have a passion for it. I just, it's just, it's, it's what, it's, it's Rashid. It's just my name. I just love everything about it. I really do. I'm hook, line, and sinker. I got hook, line, and sinker with it. I'm just at great all with it. I'm impressed. Um, there, there, there's nothing else I really can say that disturb um, any kind of any. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just at great all with it. I'm, fa I fancy social media to the highest degree, and. Um, I feel sorry for people who just don't get it, you know. I feel sorry for people who just don't get it. I feel I feel very sorry for them because they don't know what they're missing out on. You know, they really don't know what they're missing out on. But I know one thing: um, I'll do social media more than any kind of. It's, yeah, we would. Sweetie, you know it. I don't give a fuck what's out. I don't care what's on that fucking, yeah, mainstream satellite. I do social media. If I want to see anything on um, um, satellite TV, I can see it on social media. You know? I probably can't see a whole, I probably can't, we, yeah, a whole show. But still, we could get some kind of preview of what it's about. And so, it's, it's just, it's just a, a very interesting, um, informative avenue. I mean, it's like a, the telephone, if the telephone book turned to a television set. And television books, it, are, are, I don't know, they are, I think they already stopped making telephone books. Maybe, they still make it telephone books, but telephone books are getting very, I mean, they just, they, they're about to stop making them. That's where we had a meeting about, yeah, because the social media now, you don't need a telephone book. So, I don't know, I don't know, but if the telephone book was a TV set, I mean, it's just an amazing avenue. You just got to know what you're doing on it. You just have to know what you're doing on it. You, you know, you, you you go and watch these same programs over and over again. And you're not being versatile. 
Of course you're going to get sick and tired of watching social media. You're watching the same shit over and over and over again. You're not giving nothing, nothing, nothing else to try, you know. And once you give something else to try, you know, you get to hang on what social media is. You know, it's a very, a very interesting um, avenue for entertainment and viewing entertainment. It's very interesting because you get people's their their real personality they put inside their videos. You get to find out what kind of person they are, and you, and, and, and all of these things. It, you know, it's just it's amazing. But the sad part about it again is when. You really like somebody on social media. You really, really like somebody on social media. You really like this person, and they just stop uploading, or they upload and you start to slow down, and then next you know they just stop for a while. And it, they, they, you know, people get older, guys. I don't care what age we are, we get older. Rather, if, if we're young now or older right now, we're going to get older. So. That next door, that next room. It's no telling how we're going to feel about social media, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Right now, we're young. Right now, some older. Some uh, whatever, whatever. But if we all got a room next to us. Because all of us get older. And that's in the next room. When we get in the next room, it's no telling how we're going to feel about social media. Right now, we got to like it. But then... When we get in the next room, we get older. Hey, I don't feel that way anymore. You know, some people made a lot of money off social media and just quit and upload bullshit now just to keep their fans happy. But they not into it no more. They spending their money. They living their life spending their money, dude. And they don't give a fuck about this and that. They became rich on social media and walk right away from it. Like, thank you. You know, there's all, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But just know a lot of people on social media did that. And they just come by to upload some garbage just to keep people looking at their shit. But they don't get but their heart ain't in it no more. Because they got rich off of it and they just walked away from the shit, you know. See, I really, I really, 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 really like social media. I really don't. And I wouldn't change nothing about it for nothing in the world. But it's still sad to, to see, you know, um, again, some of the people you like just stop doing shit and stop uploading and shit. It's just sad to see because you really want to see some some of the content. Then when they do upload, it's just, all right, they put their heart in this. You can see this is bullshit. I don't even know why they did this vlog. It looks so stupid. And that's just, you can see they just not into it. They just... Put it up because I got to put up a video. You know, if I got to feel like that, I won't upload nothing, guys. And y'all know that shit. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. But it's just sad that some people we like on social media, you know, does that. You know, because I know, I know I like watching a lot of people. A lot of people. But they don't, but some of them don't want me to come across their video. So they don't do nothing to manipulate their system. So I can see it on there, on, on my YouTube front page. For some reason, I see other people's content on my YouTube front page. Especially Taylor Swift. I know when she, <laughs> when she got something to say, I know Taylor Swift shit be on my shit. But I don't, I don't understand how, you know, these other people are like that. I don't understand why they like that, you know. I really don't understand why you like that. So I just keep it all. I take it all in stride, and you know, do what I got to do. Look at what I have to look at because it's all under entertainment, you know. Well, I can't figure out how somebody can't be in the social media. I just can't figure that shit out. I just can't figure it out. He's not into it. I always watch social media. Usually 95% of the time. I'm on a strange part of YouTube. I'm on a weird part of YouTube. 
I'm I'm hardly ever on like what everybody's watching on social media. Now I come by trendings. Don't get me wrong. I come by trendings on my front page. On my YouTube front page and I check out what's on trendings. But my shit is the, the strange part of YouTube, the weird part of YouTube. That's my videos. And I'll be there watching religious topics and Illuminati talking and shit. And that's where I stay at, basically. That's where I stay at. I don't go nowhere else. I don't I really don't go nowhere else. Especially when it comes to religion. I like the religious part of YouTubers. Um these religious YouTubers that's on the on the air. And they come on and do Bible studies and they just wanna come on and talk about God and read the Bible on the air. I go by their channels a lot. Some of them I subscribe to, some of them I don't, you know. But a lot of people use um, social media for religious purposes. A lot of young and middle aged, such as myself, use social media to, to just talk about God. To have Bible studies online and stuff like that. Some people use it just for like these lost Israelites. They get on and start screaming at the camera. With their Bible in their hand. And they still, you know, a lot of crazy, they got the crazy religious people who's fucked up with a the head. They come on YouTube and they start screaming and hollering at the camera. Christ is going to come and all. And, and I can't help but look at them and laugh. And I always go by their shit and look at them. Because they got something to say. And they be up there, God and this and Jesus coming. And y'all don't understand. And, they be, and I, I watch their shit over and over. I watch their vlogs. And they some weird people, and I, I just like the weird part of YouTube. That's just where I belong at, you know. And everybody know y'all know it. I, I just belong there. I just belong there. I just, I just, I just love the weird part of YouTube. I just, I love the religious. It got, it got um, some people talking about the government. That's why I cursed. Remember I see why they on the Hollywood Squares yesterday and shit. I came across them, and you know, I don't really listen to them, because they, they don't really talk about nothing. That, that's what I'm saying, sweet. They really don't talk about shit interesting. They just, it's like they just happy to be on social media and talking to each other. But but it, it's like, just because you're talking to each other, they have nothing really to discuss. So I don't really look at this shit. You know, there's people out there that's like Rashid who like to talk all the time. There's real broadcasters. They like, there's like to just to run their fucking mouth all the time. And that's me and shit. And these people are religious fanatics, dude. They just crazy. And they just get up there and they got their background with God stuff, crosses and all this shit. And they get up there and start talking some weird fucking shit. And um, they ex some of them ex preachers, some of them uh, uh, Jehovah's Witness all on here who left Jehovah Witness congregation. They get on there and, 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 and tell why they left Jehovah Witness organization, and 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 all kind of Muslims on here doing. You don't know about Muslims? We'll tell you about it. And and Muslim reading from the Quran, all kind of stuff on here, dude. You just gotta know how to work it. You gotta know where to go at. You know. I don't just because if I stick by that stick by that mainstream shit, that should have dogged me out. That should have just dogged me out and make me feel like shit. Cause that's all they about. They'll make you feel like shit on that pop culture shit. Make you feel like garbage. Look what I got. Look what I got. I'm this. I'm this. I'm 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 I'm. They talking about me. They not talking about you. They talking about me. And and dude, these people ain't nobody, dude. They ain't no fucking body. They ain't got no talent. They ain't making no records. They ain't doing shit. They ain't doing nothing. Not all of them. You know, some people on YouTube really like that pop girl. She she doing her fucking thing. But you know what I'm saying? The major, I say 99 point yeah 99.99 percent of of YouTubers ain't they ain't got no talent, ain't doing nothing. And yet they talk. You gotta talk about somebody or else your shit it look dead. I ain't gotta talk about nobody on my on my vlogs. I don't have to. I come on here, y'all. When y'all listen to me, y'all put your feet up, kick back, and we ain't gotta talk about a motherfucking thing, dude. Nothing. Uh, and these people got to talk about somebody to to do their vlogs. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what they're doing on social media. You know what I'm saying? If that's what they're doing on social media. 
talking about celebrities or other YouTubers or whatever. If that's what they do on social media, there's absolutely, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying in general, in general, it's like they got to, you know, you just say, man, man, fuck that. Fuck that shit. And I don't do that. I just, that's something I just don't do, man. I just don't do. And I use social media to look at shit and to come on and talk about um, things if I come across something interesting, you know. And there's a lot of interesting things on social media. You just got to know where to look at. But you ain't got to be stuck to that pop culture main bullshit. Because that shit will dog you out. Because that's all they about is, hey, I'm the shit, you not. It's that fucking simple, dude. I'm the shit, you're not the shit. That's what they about, basically. Every, that's the foundation. Now, I don't give a fuck what they doing. I don't give a fuck what they... And this is not everybody. You know, it, it's, it, it, it varies. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know the motherfuckers, dude. And um, it's just, I'm the shit, I'm the it, you're not. Look at what I'm doing. I don't care about what you're doing because they're not talking about you. They're talking about me. And most of the shit is like that. And when you go fill your head up with that, you're going to feel like shit. You're going to feel like crap. Basically, anything that, you, that you, you're into in real life. You could go on social media and find an avenue that, the, that they talk about that. You know, no matter what it is, I don't give a fuck what it is, what kind of hobby you have. All on social media, people just like yourself. Go hang with your crowd, dude. You know what I mean? Go hang with your crowd. They're out there. They're really, really out there, man. But you got to find them. If you fill your head up with all that. That that shit, I'm the shit. You're not, dude. You gonna when you turn off your fucking cell cell phone or whatever, iPad, laptop or a notebook, you're gonna feel like crap. You're gonna feel like crap, man. You're gonna feel less low motivated. You're gonna feel less. You're gonna just feel like shit. Cause you looking at all these people who's who you think is better than you when they in reality they not. They not. I mean, you can make yourself look like anything on social media, dude. But when that camera start rolling, them bellies stick out. Don't forget that shit. Never, ever forget that shit. When the camera stop rolling and the microphone turn off, all those bellies stick the fuck out. And all of a sudden, they go, ah. And that's the fuck it. So ain't nobody better than no fucking body, dude. Everybody holding in their gut. It's just a bunch of bullshit. So just realize that. As soon as the camera go off, them belts flopping the fuck open. So don't think nobody, you know, all this, I'm better than you bullshit. Don't let that shit get to you. But in general, but what, this is what I'm saying. This, I like social media. You got to know how, you got to know what you're doing. And you'll have a nice time on social media, dude. You know, and I love it. And I love it. I can't describe how much I like social media. I can't, it's my answer to life. I don't know what I would do if I was stuck. Yeah, we were stuck looking at that, that fucking shit they got on that Main Street. I don't know what I'd do. I don't know what I'd do. And, and, and the thing is, a lot of people don't like us because of that. You know, a lot of people don't like us because of just that. Just that, man. They want us to look at this monkey ass shit. Look at my style. Not your style. Look at my style. See, my style is the style everybody likes. Your style, don't nobody really like it because nobody talking about you. And that's, just, that's how they want you to think and shit. They're not paying attention to your views that you got. People coming to you, looking at you. They ain't paying attention to the fact you uploading a lot. And you like doing They ain't paying attention to none of that. Only thing they want to do is get around you and say, my style is better than yours. The big babies, big fucking infant motherfuckers, dude. And that's all they'll ever be and they'll never get no fucking where. Nowhere. Nowhere. Big dumb asses. All you have to say is you're over here looking at me. I'm not over your shit looking at you. You see? It's a difference. I can see if I was over your shit looking at you and you're saying that. Then it makes sense. But if you all up my, you sucking my dick. 
on my channel. How the fuck you saying some shit like that to me? When you sucking my dick. And shit don't make sense. It just don't make sense. But they just still want to say it. I am better than you. I got the views to subscribe. Dude, I don't look at your shit. You're over here sucking my balls. I'm not sucking your balls on your shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit you talk about. I don't give a fuck about it. It's uninteresting shit to me. I'm into some crazy ass. I'm into Nostradamus type shit. But she into like... Like um orthodox shit. I'm so I'm into that. I'm I'm dark humor. We underground. Our, our humor is underground. Everything about us is not me. I mean, how the fuck you over here talking about you better than me? I don't like that old rainbow shit you into. You a hell of a guy. Everybody likes you. You're a hell of a guy. All these subscribers and people talking about you on these new YouTube news channel. You're a hell of a guy. What the fuck you sucking my balls for? What you doing around here? You know, it's like that's how you got to look at shit, guys. Don't let them get to you, man. They over your fucking shit. You ain't over their shit looking at their own stupid shit. No, none of them Hollywood bitches sitting on my face. So guess what, man? Guess what? Shit, my nose ain't up the ass crack. So guess what, motherfucker? So I don't really don't care who doing what. I don't give a fuck about me. They don't give a fuck about me, dude. Like I give a shit what they doing. Well, I give a fuck about that. You could go and um, you're in the fashion, art, comics. Your crowd is right on social media. All you gotta do is go, go find them and hang around them, and look at their videos and fill your head up with that. Mine is spirituality. There's so much spiritual stuff on social media on YouTube. It's pathetic, man. I mean, it's pathetic. You got people that wants to do the gospel, wants to do whole Bible studies. You got people that want to read from the Bible. You could go into a real church and hear a real sermon. You know, you could go live stream. And do live stream and hear um these crazy. Well, I'm about to go crazy. Some of them are crazy. Yeah, but some of them are crazy. These crazy religious philosophies they believe in. And they sitting up there on, on a, a pedestal. They didn't made themselves a goddamn fucking um altar. They didn't created an altar in their house and they go up there reading and talking that shit and they got followers and they got people looking at them. And they take that very serious. They very happy and proud about that. But if they go in the church and talk that shit, the church will tell them to get the fuck out of here. Got Satanism. You got people who do Satanism on here. Go up there and start talking Satanism talk. You got people to, to show you how to make spells, cast spells. YouTubers now. These are all YouTubers. I'm with a lot of you. These are all YouTubers. You got people uh, that make spells. I'm going to teach y'all how to make a love spell to make your boyfriend stop cheating. In this, this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a spell to make this and that. All kind of fucking shit, dude. These are YouTubers. I'm not playing around. I'm really not shitting you. And these are the people I watch. These are the people I go hang around, man. I'm not shitting you. These are the people I like to hang around.
I swear, man. They out there, you just gotta know where to go. People, you name it, you name it, dude. They're out there on social media. You could just be around your people. Don't think you by yourself, man. And their pop culture, their pop culture, all that fucking glitz and glamour shit, they make you think that you're by yourself. And you're not like them. And you're by, and that's bullshit. That's why nobody watching their ass. You see they shit going down. And the Emmys was this weekend or whatever. And nobody ever, nobody even watched it. Trump commented on it, on how low they, they fucking um, ratings was. The President of the United States saying that. I'm sorry about how the Emmys went to waste. Nobody watching that pop culture shit, dude. They thinking it. They think people are, but it's rare. It's rare, dude. It's rare. It's, dude, it's rare. Because nobody wants to see that fucking shit. People want to do stuff to make themselves feel good. Now the social media here. You got, you got avenues now. That you can do stuff and feel, you know, you don't want to sit back and watch somebody get. And I'm telling you, man, look at the, go look at the past Emmys that just left. It's in hit, it's historic. Nobody ain't even watch the shit. Nobody ain't even watch it. Nobody didn't watch it, man. It's very rare. And and the news channels that I went to didn't even talk about it. I didn't even see the the news. The new I watch Fox. I'm on Fox website. I mean, I ain't see no Emmy fucking shit up in there. Nothing. 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 That pop culture shit going right down the fucking drain, dude. Because you could, you could, because you could do other things. People going after their own fucking shit that they like. And that pop culture get going right down the fucking drain. Trust me, dude. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. They say in this summer, <coughs> they just passed. No movies. What? No blockbuster. Weird all the what happened to our summer or box office? That was that was an article, I think in the um, in the um, the journal. I think it was in the journal website. What happened to our summer of, of blockbuster movies that we used to have? You know, all that shit going down. All of it. All of it is going down. I'm not lying to you. All of it is going down. And the Emmys are this weekend. And, and they say, this, this is pathetic. Nobody watching it. Nobody watch it. I ain't lying to you. When I'm finished listening, they go look it up. Let's see for yourself. Y'all don't believe me. That pop culture, that pop culture is in trouble. It's in trouble, dude. It's in big fucking trouble, dude. It is. People doing their own fucking shit. They, they, they worried about what each, each other doing. Yes, I'm saying they worry about what each other doing. They ain't worried about no director directing no fucking movie. They want to see what your Instagram, what you up to, and shit. I ain't lying to you. And for me, I just go and, um, you know, I just go and, and, and I got a lot of, um, a whole lot of hobbies and I got a whole lot of interests. And I go and, I, and I'm very, very versatile in, on this social media. Very. Very, dude. And it's all the strange, weird part of YouTube. All of it. Basically, if I don't want to go to YouTube, I go to their main website, you know. Hip-hop culture should make you feel like shit any goddamn way when you look at it. Make you feel like garbage, dude. Straight fucking garbage. All that mainstream shit. You watching them all nice, all clothes, nice clothes. Full stomachs and shit. You should open your shit starving and, and suffering. Man, fuck out of here. I ain't watching no shit like that, dude. That's when I was younger. I don't do that no more. That's just my opinion about it. And for me to watch that, yeah, I just said I'm saying it gotta be something really good. 
a headline that's really good or something very interesting. But I don't do it because they all, you know, this is a struggle, right? You know, I'd rather do something up. I need all the upbuilding I could get every chance I get it. I don't need to watch nobody that's going to make me feel like shit, dude. I'm fooling my damn self, man. I'm just fooling myself if I'm watching something that, that's not going to really make me feel good or hype me up. I'm just, I'm just fool dick, dicking myself around. These people got money. They got, they got nice clothes and this shit. And everybody talking about them. They on the tip of everybody's tongue and shit. Everybody's tongue. Everybody's talking about them. What about, what about me and shit? I ain't saying I want them to talk about me, but what about me seeing myself on the screen? What about that? What about, you know, people li listening to what I have to fucking say? Or my shit? I don't give a fuck about this shit. That's what it's about. And now the social media here, we have the opportunity to do that. And I'm not surprised that that pop culture in trouble. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, man. Nobody wants to look at that old shit. It ain't used to, the way it used to be in the 80s and 70s where you could just look at entertainment and get entertained. It ain't like that no more. Now everybody talking about each other. I'm better than you. I'm going to get you back from what you said about me on your record. And all this stuff. You going in looking at that old stupid shit. Nobody wants to. Nobody in their mature mind wants to look at that dumb shit. And somebody needs to say something about it. Or they're going to keep going on and on and on forever. Ain't nobody saying nothing about it. Seeing two people argue. Who the fuck want to watch that, dude? The fuck is this? In that case, you might as well just go, go to sports and watch boxing if that's what you like. Watching two people arguing shit. This is dumb ass shit. And that's why that and that's why nobody watched that fucking Emmy bullshit and nobody gonna watch that other that all that other bullshit either. Nobody gonna even watch that shit. The last one was the MTV one, right? But then you go black man on stage talking singing about his DNA and everybody cheering and shit. You know, all these kind of things, you know. I ain't got time for that. I, you know, that's that's the most ridiculous fucking entertainment I ever fucking saw in my damn life. And he turns around and gets on um, records CD of the year. Black man singing about his DNA, rapping about his DNA, and everybody cheering. Well, I fucking heard some shit like that, dude. I ain't never think it was gonna get uh, worse than Run DMC and that fucking Houdini bullshit. And today is fucking straight out ridiculous, man. He's singing about his damn DNA. A nigga singing about his DNA and people were cheering about it. But I mean, that's crazy as donkey shit. And yet, and that that's what everybody like. Just uh, hey man, shit. Well, for some reason they ain't look at that Emmy bullshit. For some reason, they ain't looking at that Emmy bullshit. They said take the Emmy shit and get the fuck out of here. That's what they said. And I ain't gonna lie, the public said that. The public said, fuck that Emmy bullshit. And that's in that Emmy bullshit. And the President of the United States came in and said, Guys, I'm sorry about your Emmy. I don't care fuck what you're saying about me. Ain't nobody ain't see it. And that's what Trump stuck his head right in there and said that to the ass. And smacked them all right upside the fucking head. And that's what Trump did. Trump punched them all right in the fucking mouth. He stuck his head right up in there and said, oh, that's too bad. Nobody see what y'all said about me and left. And that was what Trump did. Nobody watching that old stupid shit. Well, that's too fucking bad. Nobody wants to see that. People wants to see other things. People wants to see inspired. Now me, y'all listen to this 1970s bullshit on my thing here. I made television where we could watch the way television used to be. Because I'm not getting rid of where I came from. And I'm proud of where I came from. And I like entertainment. I don't like bullshit. And that's why nobody give a fuck about that Star Wars movie coming out. It's a Tomb Raider movie coming out. I don't know if they're going to care about that. It's a two. It's on trend. The, the, well, the trailer is on trending. A new Laura Croft. Is in them, and, that, and that's getting. Um, that's on trending. So 
that might that might gonna do um some good. I don't know. But nobody care any nobody just care anymore, dude. Nobody give a fuck anymore. Nobody just care anymore. Nobody cares, man. Cause I'm just guessing the reason why. It's just in my in my opinion about it, it's just cause everybody talking about me, 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 and no and nobody getting entertained. Their entertainment is look what I'm doing. You know? Pay attention. It's look what I'm doing. You know? That's the entertainment now. It's not no stories anymore. It's no kind of adventures anymore. It's look what I'm doing. Look what, what what my opinion is about this subject. And that's the entertainment of today's people today. And it's and it's the most not it's the most infantile crawl you could get stuck in. I never seen anything like that. I never seen society sink down a low to this level before where everybody become bitches. A bunch of women cackling and gossiping and shit. I never seen anything like it. Everybody turned women and shit. Men, everybody turned women gossiping bullshit. Hair salon bullshit. We all in one big fucking hair salon. Okay? Well, not around here. I ain't in no fucking hair salon around here. And that's just a trap, guys. It's just a trap. And um, I got a story coming up. Got some shit coming up. So let me get out of here. I just wanted to talk for a little bit. I'm not going to talk your ass off. But I just want to come on. And, you know, I told y'all I might come on again. All right. And I'll talk to you guys later. Stick close to my Google page for more Rashi content. And thanks for coming by listening to me. Because I'm your motherfucker, dude. And y'all know I'm your motherfucker. Y'all know that. I'll talk to y'all guys later. Bye.